Good morning ladies and gentlemen, Manny here, welcome back to another video, it's a nice beautiful morning here in Vienna, a little bit cloudy, a little bit sunny as well, um, really early actually, and I had a pretty nice outdoor bouldering session yesterday, I can tell you this much, in a new bouldering area actually, I'm a little bit on the discovery right now, um, nice limestone, a little bit uh, sunny, you know, the sun comes in about like 1 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon, so you gotta be early there, because when the sun comes in it's gonna be definitely too hot, which leads me to the weather, which is going to be really hot this week, today is a Monday, <clears throat> so it's probably not possible to try the 9A this week, because the, the 9A is in the, in the sun, unfortunately, so unless I get a really early session in, it's gonna be quite hard, um, so probably a lot of indoor training and stuff like that. Let's see if I can share something of that stuff with you. I already took my weight. The, the weight came in at 63.7 kilograms empty this morning, which is good, which is kind of a, kind of heavy. I want to share a little bit of the uh, refeeding process after the um, 8B ascent, the, for which I dry fasted, as you remember. Um, I'm gonna show it to you some somewhere here in this reef in this in this uh, pre-roll footage window. Um, I went in into the into the 8B ascent at 61.1 kilograms, and then after these after this day, the next four days, my weight slowly creeped up again. Okay, 61.5. It's in, I think at some point up to 62.9, which is already a two kilogram weight gain compared to the sending day. Okay, so that's of course also a lot of water weight, and you know just simply you creeping up quite quickly there. You know you're filling up your gut with food again, so. Um, all that's included in that and now roughly one and a half weeks later we're already up at 63.7 kilograms again which is kind of heavy you know for empty weight I already went to the bathroom today so um, I the thing why I, I bring this up is I want to say that the body likes contrast okay the body likes contrast the body likes periods where you're feeding it and then there's coming periods where you're fasting it, okay? The body likes periods where you're training it and then there is like periods where you're resting it. Training, resting, fasting, eating, sleeping, being awake, okay? The body likes contrast. Um, so the reason why I'm, I'm actually de deliberately trying to fatten up here a little bit because I'm planning to do another dry fast in the future, of course, and I want to break my record again. Um, and I think I'm going to need somewhat like 65 kilograms empty or something to enter this dry fast to get it done because I want to get to up to 70 hours or something, maybe 75. Let's see how it goes. And um, then go in actually with a little bit of water first for another day and then refeed, okay? So that the whole fast adds up to about 100 hours, like 75 hours dry and then 25 hours with water or something and then refeed again. So that's the plan for this. Um, the reason also why I, I will combine this longer fast with a break, actually. So the thing is, you can only fast so long, as you know, and especially if you're an athlete, it's very hard to fast and train at the same time. I mean, actually, it's almost impossible, okay? Um, I did it, I did, I always went into my dry fasts with another training day, so I um, basically emptied my glycogen stores during a session already in the fast. I'm not planning to do this for the longer fast because actually I, I want to, I want to have a softer transition. So I'm gonna go train, I'm gonna get a post-workout meal in and then I'm gonna fast and the next day is already gonna be a rest day. I want to make a bigger rest in in general because I'm I have the feeling that I'm at the at the end of one training phase now. Okay, I really focused on max strength and stuff like that in the past. A lot of bouldering, a lot of max strength hangboarding, and I want to get back into a little bit more building up like routine. Okay, with more repetitions on the hangboard, more rep repetitions in the bouldering gym, not so intensely hard moves. Maybe a lot of root climbing, but not not necessarily the 9A, which is really bold as well um, but just to have that said you know again the body likes contrast you cannot train the same things all the time I've talked about this in the past if you want to make some progress you got to confuse the body here a little bit okay so I'm gonna change my training strategy and I'm gonna use the bigger break 
as a border between these two strategies. Okay, I think it's coming up at the end of this week or something. Uh, let's see how the weight develops. You know, I need to have the weight first. Unless unless I have that, I can't go into the fast. So um, that's a little bit uh, of the training strategy that's coming up. And also when it comes to nutrition and stuff, I just want to have that m mentioned here, basically. I will use this break as the border. Da, da, da. Today, I want to shoot a little bit of a training vlog to drop some motivation on you, essentially, to get your stuff done as well. Um, what's on the menu today? Stretching. Not so much because yesterday I had a really nice and intense stretch, actually. So that's not going to be necessary simply. And I still feel even that my muscles are a little bit sore in my legs from that stretch. So it's not going to be necessary to go that deep into the stretching. But... We are going to create some new problems on the 45er because the 45er has been renewed. There are new holes on the 45er now. So I will try to make a couple of bullet problems here to project on. Then I want to do some campus boarding on the small campus board. Then I want to do some one armors and then I'm going to hit the parallels as usual. So <clears throat> that's still quite of a, I would say, a hardcore max strength approach. We're still in the beginning of the transition into the new training uh, strategy, so that's okay. And I want to actually shoot a parallels beginner video today. That's something that I have in mind for a longer time now. I want to pick like, for example, five exercises or maybe ten. Let's see how it goes and show these really beginner like parallels exercises to you guys because I realized that a lot of you are inspired by the parallels. You know, you build them yourself and stuff, but you don't really know how to start. So I'm going to attempt to make a video about that today as well. Um, so, yeah, that's a lot to do. Um, regarding the elbow, I want to say, I still feel the elbow, okay? The elbow is still there. I got this little golfer, I think, in my left elbow. And um, I did a little, a, little, a little bit of stretching, you know, always trying to keep it activated, keeping it warm, keeping it, keeping, keeping the blood flow up, basically. So I'm going to also try to um, maybe make a little bit of an elbow elbow injury treatment video or something like that. The way how I stretch and stuff like that. But that's not going to not gonna be for today. It's likely for an upcoming day. Um, <clears throat> so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a breakfast. Now a little bit of a smoothie, soaked flax seeds, two bananas. And I'm also going to pre-cook my post-workout meal because it's going to be a longer day today. I already know that. Um, so... Yeah, that's that's it for this intro shot, basically. <laughs> I hope if you found it informational. I want to drop a final tip for you, um, for all those of you who are still on here. Um, maybe you're self-employed as well and you don't have a boss who is, you know, kind of your main motivator to get shit done in your job and stuff. Maybe you're self-employed as well and you're struggling with procrastination a lot. Uh, for me, that was a huge problem, you know, in, in the context of this YouTube thing. I, I consider myself a pretty consequent and consistent person and I'm also pretty motivated, but there's up and downs, you know, you gotta be at some points, at some days, you're not as motivated as you should be or as you would like to be. And it's hard to get things done without a boss who's, you know, kicking your ass to get it done, you know? So I wanna drop a tip here and that is, a good day starts with a good to-do list. Man, that's so, so valuable. Uh, in the meantime, I always, I almost write a to-do list every day. It's the first thing that I do in the morning and I make a lot of points, you know, as you can see, I hope you can see that it's a bit bright here. I make a lot of points so that I can go through them and tick them, you know, tick all these points when I get them done. Because every time I tick something that's going to give me a little bit of a, of a boost, you know, because it's so, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of motivating if you get something done and you want to get the next thing done until you're eventually at the bottom on the, your to-do to list in the evening and you can tick all of it together and you've basically created the perfect day okay so a good day starts with a good to-do list it's just a little bit of a tip that i want to drop here um, to the guys who maybe are self self-employed as well or even like when you want to get some training done or stuff like that okay write it down first and tick it off later on so that's that's yeah that's really motivating anyway so Guys, let's get it done!
Welcome back to the climbing gym, my friends. As you can see, the 45er is renewed. Beautiful, colorful holds here. It's always looking amazing on camera. I think when the when the holds are this fresh and you know everything is so colorful and stuff. So I wanted to showcase here real quickly one problem that I tried during the session. I didn't invent it myself, but someone else did. And I think it's a pretty great problem. It should come in at around, I would say, 7C slash plus or something. I will blend here in here the, the, the holes. Basically, yellow is the starting hole, green the top. And you're only stepping on small screw-ons here. Not even um, like hand foot style or something. Only small, uh, small screw-ons are allowed. And this gives the boulder kind of a really... I don't know, delicate characteristic, I would say. It's really body strength, you know, but at the same time, you have to let go of your feet quite a lot because there is not really a lot of stepping around and sometimes you even have to swing over to um, literally grab onto some other screw-on, which is more to the left. And then it evolves basically around matching this really bad, really slopey, rounded edge here, which um, I didn't manage to do from the ground. I mean, as you can see, I did a lot of stuff before that. I did my warm-up, my stretching, my mobilizing, and also some campus boarding on the 45er. And I gotta say, definitely, I can feel the additional kilos here. Um, compared to the Mission 8B, I'm around like 2 to 3 kilograms heavier. And on the 45er, especially when I campus, even though the holes are fresh and have a lot more friction, um, then back then basically I could feel these additional kilograms pulling me down basically so yeah I tried this boulder for like I don't know 45 minutes or something did a little bit of campusing invented some new campusing boulders because um, that's always a nice thing to have for warming up so after that I basically hit the small campus board as you can see here did a little bit of lettering for the warm-up here I'm trying my 147 to get even warmer um, and once with every hand of course because as you know these are asymmetrical so you gotta do them uh, once for every hand and then I subsequently um, worked myself up to the 159er on this campus board because that's my current limit actually on here that's what I managed to do, to do already with both hands actually during my, my strong times I think after the mission 8b when I was still light and I had a session indoors um, that was actually pretty easy and today I had no chance no chance with uh, with neither my strong hand which is the right hand and or my left hand the, the, the weaker hand basically I failed to do it with both hands so that goes to show man two kilograms three kilograms uh, you know from time to time I get messages from people saying come on are you really sure um, one kilogram does it really make so much of a difference you know when you're 63 kilograms heavy one kilogram that's that's not a lot you know when it comes to percentage body weight but I tell you if you are moving at your limit close to your limit then one kilogram can make the difference between oh my god it feels super impossible today and mm, it's actually going quite well today you know that's the difference of one kilogram and here I am I'm two to three kilograms heavier even than after the Mission 8B, so that's definitely something I felt during the campusing and also during this upcoming uh, session of one armors, basically, because that's what I wanted to attack the next. Um, as you can see, I'm warming up here as usually, some standard pull-ups and some archer pull-ups. I always like to do them, I think that's perfect warm-up for one-armers. And then I get straight into it, you know, first uh, my stronger hand, which is my left one. And I managed to do two in a row and then I already had to support. Now usually I'm doing three in a row and then I have to support for the fourth, for the fourth repetition. Now with my right hand, which is my weaker one here, I'm already having to support a little bit on the second repetition even. So definitely here as well, I can feel the uh, the additional kilos pulling me down. Now of course, it could well be that something, you know, that the session yesterday, for example, the day before where I went outdoor bouldering plays a role here a bit as well. Here's another glass of uh, fruit mousse is going in. But yeah, uh, next thing on the list, on the menu, the parallels, as usual. 
um, getting warm basically, making some normal standard uh, handstand ups here. Then the handstand up with straight legs, which is already quite advanced. And then it felt hard today. It felt hard today. I could feel it even, you know, pretty much everything I'm doing here is body weight, um, body weight exercise, basically. Your resistance is your body weight here. So, yeah, I could feel it definitely here as well that I'm simply heavier. And especially, of course, on my planche attempts. Um, after my straight leg handstand ups, I tried my usual plan planche attempts, basically. And it didn't go as bad as I would have expected. Actually, it... It, I think I managed my to to at least um, equalize my my record so far, but uh, yeah, I think it could have gone a lot better if I simply was a bit lighter. Now here I'm trying something new, the planche lean. I discovered this exercise on YouTube recently, and it's supposed to really help you when it comes to the planche gains. So yeah, I tried this a couple of times and then I basically finished up this session, smashed in my post-workout meal. And after that, I also did a couple of uh, beginner planche exercises, some shots for the upcoming video. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the session. Welcome back, man. That was perfect timing, I'd say. I just came home before this uh, thunderstorm there started, which was excellent because then I took a little bit of a nap to the thunderstorm sounds, you know, and that was really refreshing. Now I'm ready for this afternoon, for the work that is still ahead. I just wanted to chime in here real quickly to show you my to-do list again. Do you see that? Tick after tick after tick. So we could almost get everything done that we planned for today. Um, the only thing that's still missing is working on the training regimens for the online uh, online trainees. That's what I'm gonna do today evening. And before that, I'm gonna even start editing this video that you're seeing right now here. Um, the session went quite well. Um, I could good, could get almost anything done. I would say half properly as it was planned. You know, I felt a little bit of pain on the uh, one armors and the small campus board in the elbow, the left elbow. So I thought, you know, staying reasonable, listen to my body. If it hurts, then reduce the intensity and I stopped immediately when it when I had the feeling, ah, that doesn't make any sense anymore. And in any case, I didn't have access to my maximum strength at this session today. I felt it because probably because the session before that, the session yesterday was pretty intense as well on the outdoor bouldering. So yeah, you gotta stay reasonable here, listen to your body. If you don't have access to your max strength, it doesn't even make sense to train max strength, okay? It's probably better from a long-term strategy point of view to get the rest in a bit sooner, therefore, and be able to go on hard again a bit sooner, therefore. So, um, yeah, that's a little bit of that, what I wanted to say. I think that's about all. Um, I still will cook another meal for today a little bit later in the evening because I gotta get my calories in. I wanna put some weight on. Man, it's 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 hard for me to understand. No joke here. It's hard for me to understand how people can get so fucking big nowadays, man. If you're doing some sort of regular sport, if you're eating clean, like it's so hard to gain weight, man. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna manage. <laughs> I'm gonna manage and then I'm gonna make a bigger fast again because this is what it's all about, you know, giving the body contrast, giving the body fasting, feeding, training, resting, sleeping and awaking, you know. Imagine if you're, ha if you're having shitty sleep, then you're having shitty awake time, okay? If you're having shitty training, then you're having shitty recovery and if you're having shitty recovery, then you're having shitty training. The body needs contrast. The body needs contrast. An important lesson when it comes to uh, living a, a somewhat productive life and stuff like that. But anyway, I don't want to start rambling right now. I hope you got some training motivation from this video. And I'll see you soon in the next one, guys. Bye.